Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion uh, for the Urban Superfood Education Program video is going to be on the topic of balance. And when I talk about balance, I'm, I'm talking about how to bring balance into your life. Because it's pretty obvious that when you live one side on one side of the fence and it's very extreme and you have nothing else in your life, you're never going to really truly achieve optimal health. Everything is about balance. It's about bringing balance into your life the best you can. The beauty behind balance is, is that it doesn't need to be perfect. It actually, it, it, it doesn't even need to be close to perfect. That's why balance, that's why there's always all sorts of things in a person's life that can bring balance to it, okay? So I'm going to start by discussing what I think is the true primary uh, fact of when we look at balance, how we are to, how we're to achieve it, and most importantly, how we're to move forward keeping in that balanced state. Okay, so in order to understand balance, in order to achieve balance, it's important that you understand the difference between passion and obsession. Okay, now, everybody in their life for the most part has had that conflict where they become obsessed with something. And the way you always know you become obsessed with someone, with something, is when that one thing is all you think about 24-7. Where you have such tunnel vision that you can't see past an inch in front of you because all you see is that one specific goal. And what you often find when you're obsessed with something, um, you don't allow anything else into your life, okay? And it's these specific actions that you do, meaning the tunnel vision, not allowing anything else into your life, it's these specific actions that make a failure or that make a crisis 10 times worse than it actually is, okay? So let's just take, let's take an athlete, for example. Let's take an athlete who, whether he's uh, an elite level athlete, a pro athlete, whatever it may be, okay? And this, and this person um, spends 24 seven thinking about their sport, okay? And then all of a sudden one day in their training, they get injured and it's a bad injury. Now, most times, when you have other factors in your life, friends, family, a quality job, a home, things that can distract you in a good way from that obsession, then it's often, it, what, what often most people find is, is that that obsession and that problem that you have just come up against is not as tragic as you may think and it, they often find quicker and easier solutions when you have other things. Contrary to popular belief where most people think when you only focus on that that that's all you're going to do but oftentimes what happens is that if you have if you have been injured in your sport and it's all you think about 24-7 then you're going to have a harder time being able to sift through the information because you're never sure of what the right answer is going to be. You understand? It's, it, it really does make a difference when you don't allow other things into your life. Okay? Now, when you have a passion, a passion is when you love and desire doing specific things, but you also allow other things into your life whether it's friends and family, whether it's more education, whether it's reading, you have things that are healthy distractions from that other thing. So if you're a competitive powerlifter or a competitive bodybuilder, when you're, done, when you're done training for that day and you leave the gym, that's the last time you think about it until you go back into the gym again and train again. Whether it's later that night or two days later, don't overthink about it because now you have taken your passion and you've made an obsession, okay? And to be honest with you, take it from someone who's learned the hard way, an obsession is very, very unhealthy. 
Keep in mind, guys, there is a there is a fine line between the two, but the line does in fact exist. Okay? Now, if you find after watching this video, you say to yourself, well, oh my God, I've been one of those people who've been obsessed with what I do. I don't want you to feel in any way, shape, or form that you should have any regrets for what you did because the truth is you shouldn't have any regrets. Everything I've done in my life, I'm glad I've done it, and it's taught me, it's educated me, it's pushed me in a better direction and in a better place, and because of that, you should never have regrets for the things that you love to do, okay? Because the truth is, part of becoming great at what you want to become great at does take sacrifice, and it absolutely is going to mean that you're going to lose specific things in your life, like friends, like family, and so on and so forth. That's okay. It's not a terrible thing. What I'm saying, though, is, is that if you bring more things into your life, you're now creating balance again, okay? Anything that is completely one-sided is imbalanced. Every single time, no two ways about it, okay? So... The question is, now that we know what the difference between passion and obsession is, and we now know that by bringing more things that you have the ability to be passionate about into your life to create that balance, now the question is, how do we move forward and continue to keep our minds stimulated and our bodies stimulated in order to become passionate about those things? Well, here's the thing. You can also go on the complete opposite direction where you have too many things in your life, okay, that you're passionate about. And that's called being a jack of all trades. And when you're a jack of all trades, the truth is most people who are jack of all trades never succeed at anything that they do, okay? And they fail at majority of what they do, okay? The jack of all trades is a guarantee failure for anything you do because you never put enough time into one or two of those specific things. So, how do you do it? Well, here's the thing. You have several choices here. So let's just say you're an athlete, okay? And that's your passion, whatever sport you're in. And you have another passion where you love to read. It doesn't have to necessarily be that you read about the sport or the training, but pick a different facet within your passion. So maybe pick about how to eat or what herbs to take or things of that nature that could help to improve your recovery and your performance. See, because now you're not thinking of the sport itself, you're learning a new topic that can relate to what you love to do, okay? And that is a never-ending thing. You can always find, especially in the world we live in today with the information that's on the internet and that you find in books, you can always find more things to be passionate about and more importantly, to expand upon an individual passion in different areas of it, okay? So I hope this video has helped you guys understand the difference between passion and obsession and how to bring passion how to, how to make someone who's passionate about something bring balance into their life and keeping it in their life so they can continue to move forward. Okay, everyone, I hope you've learned a lot from today's lesson and today's education, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.